Hey there everyone, Laurel here. Welcome to another Simply Card Making video. Today I am creating this card for the current Stamp of Approval collection. It's absolutely fantastic. This is the Beautiful World stamp set that's in the collection that is made by Gina K. I'm going to take one of those beautiful butterflies. I have a thing for butterflies to come to find out after seeing this set. And I just love it. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to ink it up kind of along the left hand side of my card. Going to heat it up with some Bursa Mark ink and then I'm going to sprinkle some embossing powder over the butterflies and emboss it in white. So I'm going to continue to do this. Now I'm overlapping the butterflies so I went ahead and stamped that butterfly on some masking paper and cut it out so I can do some masking as well so when I overlap those butterflies uh, it blends into each other. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So I'm going to keep doing the stamping with Bursa Mark uh, sprinkling on the embossing powder and heat setting uh, for all four of these butterflies and then uh, we'll be able to add some color to it. All right, so once I'm done with all that, I'm going to give it a good final zap with my heat tool. Give it a few seconds for that uh, heat embossing to kind of dry off. And then let's go ahead and add some color. I'm going to be using the Distress Inks and Picked Raspberry, Lucky, Lucky Clover, Fossilized Amber, and Salty Ocean, these four colors. And I'm going to actually apply the Distress Inks with these Clarity Brushes. Um, I love them. I held off on buying these for quite some time because they're pricey. They're about $25, $26 for the pack of four. Uh, but I ended up getting them because I saw a couple people using them on YouTube and I wanted to try them out just to see if they're easier to use. I have all of the Ranger foam blending tools, which are great too. These seem to be a little bit more easier for me. They don't leave, I don't have to work hard to not leave any harsh lines. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just basically taking the Clarity Brush putting it into my ink pad to pick up the ink, and then I am pouncing it onto my card. You can pounce, you can swipe, you can do whatever you want, but that's how I'm getting all the color on here. And then, uh, because these are distress inks, they're water soluble, so they just rinse right off. I just take the brushes when I'm done, go under the sink, rinse out all the color, and they're good to go for next time. And because we heat emboss those butterflies, that heat embossing is going to resist any ink that you put down. So I wanted to create like a little rainbow look going on here. Rainbows seem to be in trend now. It's probably the season. You know, it's April now. Uh, so flowers are coming out, the new buds, sunshine, uh, at least in most places. I'm in Florida still, so it's nice and sunny. It's already hot. It's like in the upper 80s already. Um, I don't like it that hot. Uh, and, I, and I always say I like cold water, but I want to be clear. I like cold water like in the 40s. Not anything like sub-zero or anything crazy like that. So I'm taking a wet wipe here, and I'm just kind of going over the uh, white embossing of those butterflies just to remove any ink that's sitting on the top. I'm going to take these dies. There are two, these are called the 2U dies. They're also from the Stamp of Approval collection. They're made by Casual Fridays. And I'm going to run one of those U dies through my die cutting machine. Then I've got a piece of scratch paper here. I'm going to just take some Versa Mar I'm sorry, Versa Fine Black Pigment Ink. This is a pigment ink. I'm going to create my own sparkly black paper. So I'm going to ink up that U with that pigment ink. That's some clear embossing powder. I'm just going to dump that right into my tub of embossing powder and then heat set it. Now I've got a nice sparkly uh, die cut U. So I made my own like sparkly paper. You can also add glitter over the top of this and make your own glitter paper if you'd like. But glitter for me gets up my nose, all over the place. I'm just messy when it comes to glitter. <laughs> There's also a stamp set called All About You in the collection, also by Casual Friday. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp this that says Make Make Me Smile. I love it. I was humming the song uh, by, what is that, Uncle Cracker? You make me smile like the sun. Fall. Anyway, while I was making uh, this card, my son came up and handed me my phone and, and, and turned on that song. <laughs> I didn't know he was listening to me. He probably heard me downstairs and was like, please shut up. Let me put on the actual artist of that song. All right, so we're just about done here. I've got, uh, this is just a water pen here. You can use a regular paintbrush. I wanted to, you know, accentuate some of the colors of those distress inks. So I'm taking a water brush here, and I'm just going in and adding some color of those distress inks just to add some fun shading uh, to the butterflies. This is so easy to do. Uh, I am not good with Copic markers or creating shading or anything like that. So I always grab my 
uh, distress inks. They just do all the work for me. I am working on water, watercolor cardstock, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that at the beginning of the video. But by going in and adding a little color of the colors that you used for your blending over the images is an, a fantastic way to get some good shading uh, and, and coloring. It looks like you really spent a lot of time doing this, but don't tell the recipient of your card that really, you know, you didn't. <laughs> And I just think this quick step here adds a really a lot of pow to those images there. Aren't those butterflies pretty? Ah, okay, so now I've got my uh, strip there, make me smile. I'm going to trim that down, my paper trimmer here, just to a, a, a size visually that looks good to me. And then we'll go ahead and adhere this card together and bam, we're done. I love that Dymo label look, which is why I always seem to do white uh, on black. So I'll just adhere that down flat, kind of towards the bottom of the card here. And then I'll go ahead and adhere that U. Now, if I had thought about it, I would have used the Ken Oliver Stick It. It works great for a little intricate die cuts, but I didn't think about it. So I'm going to use my Ranger Multi Matte Medium. This is pretty much the only glue. I use this in Brutus Monroe, but this glue right here dries completely matte. So when it oozes out the back and the side, which it inevitably will with me because I'm super messy, uh, you won't be able to tell because it dries completely invisible. It's like it was never there, and it's a super strong glue. So I've gone ahead, I'm going to mount that down to a black card panel there, top folding. It's a regular A2, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'll just tear that right down in the middle there. So I've got a nice black border shining through the bottom. I love the shine of the embossing powder that it leaves behind. I think it's cool. Nice crisp white. All right, so now I'm going to take this as some black ink from the Ton. This is their Noir color, I believe. And I'm going to ink it up on that acrylic block and water it down just a little bit and do a, cup, a little bit of flicks. I didn't want like super bright, you know, black flick, so I thought that was a great way. Water it down, flick on just a little bit of color. This is that Spectrum Noir glitter pen. Uh, you guys may be using the Wink of Stella glitter pen. This is the same concept, but this seems to pull out a lot, a lot more glitter. I get a lot more shine uh, with this Spectrum Noir. I picked this up off of Amazon. It came in as a three pack. Uh, and it's really great. Gives off a lot of shine. So I'm going to go around the black edges with that pen and also the inside of the butterflies. So this card is really actually very, very, very sparkly. Now uh, you can kind of see it as I'm putting it down. I decided to do two layers. But this is, this to me, in my opinion, it puts out a lot more glitter. And then we're pretty much just about done here. I decided at the fact that, you know, those subtle dots that I worked so hard to put on my card with that black ink, yeah, I wanted a little bit more black. So I'm going to take my go-to textured spray by Tsukaneko in the color black and just add a little bit more black flick. So now I have the soft black from the ink pad and the dark black from the textured spray combined with the rainbow color and the sparkle from the glitter pen and the embossing powder. A super fun card to make. Bright, sparkly, fun. I hope the recipient likes it. Thanks so much for joining me and I I will catch you next time.